do have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! With six tenths of a second remaining! The Oklahoma City Thunder facing a defending champs, the Golden State Warriors. The winner advances to the NBA Finals to take on the Cleveland. Well, guys, it's official. The decision 2.0 has been made. Kevin Durant is taking his talents to the freaking 7-3 and 9 Golden State Warriors. This is very similar, I think, to what LeBron what? did. So I, I can't rip what, what? Uh, KD for this. Well, I'm not. Listen, I'm, I'm rip. I'm not ripping him for leaving. First of all, I'm ripping him for the team that he went to. You're going to the team that beat you when you were 48 minutes away on three separate occasions from beating them yourself. It's not that he's leaving Oklahoma City. It's the team that he's going to. All right. What was your immediate thoughts when you heard this? Well, uh, you know, I, I've always said I, I really don't care about being right or wrong. We're, we're in the drama business. Right. This is great for the NBA. It's incredible for the NBA. We have a villain. When LeBron left Miami, the villain was gone. Because these all these guys all have the same agents. They're all rich. I mean, it, it's 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 everybody's winning here. Right. Today we got a villain. Kevin Durant now is a villain. Uh, went to a stacked team, uh, Golden State. Oh, physically active and healthy and mature. They got three for one there. So there's plenty of other talent to be now unleashed because Kevin Durant doesn't get all those shots and have the ball all the time. It's going to be the Westbrook show. He's going to put up mega numbers, and I think he'll be the MVP of the league. There's nobody that plays harder. Yep. And there's nobody at that position that plays harder defensively. Russell Westbrook is an elite competitor, and he is coming at you. Russell Westbrook is amazing to me. You know, I can't help but when I'm watching him, you know, wishing he was an NFL wide receiver or played DB. I just his physicality, his aggressiveness, some of the rebounds that he gets. I know your dad played. I know you played in the league for a while, and you're a historian of the game. Who are we talking about here in terms of comparisons for Russell Westbrook over the last 30, 40 years? Uh, no one that I can think of. I, I think he's the best athlete to ever play the point guard position by far. Uh, you know, his decision making has gotten better. Uh, his ability, I mean, what, 18 triple doubles this year. Um, and you mentioned the physicality. I just don't know of a point guard that had the explosiveness like this guy. is I am a scorer. Russell Westbrook's mentality, his basic nature is I'm going to stick the ball in the basket and you can't stop me. I, I'm going to go up over you, I'm going to slam it on you, I'll shoot jumpers over you, but I'm going to score the basketball. Which is why, if, if we're just ranking players on this list of quote-unquote point, point guards, Russell Westbrook's the best player on this list. Oh. This is the best way I put it. If I am starting a team, if I'm one of the top five teams, and I'm starting a team with a player, Russell Westbrook is one of the top five players I'm starting my team. I love Steph Curry, but I love Steph Curry offensively. I love Derrick Rose, but I got questions about his health. Mm -hmm. I love Tony Parker, okay, who just gives it to most guys. But I'm sensing a little bit of slowing down. Like I just look sometimes he's in sync with Popovich. Other times, Tony Parker just seems in a different yeah. stratosphere, fatigue, attrition, those kind of things. I don't see that with Chris Paul. I look at Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is the most explosive offensive point guard this side of Derrick Rose in the NBA. Even maybe including Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose. Russell Westbrook is unstoppable. He cannot be guarded one on one. He's so explosive, so athletic, so quick. Got the jumping. The guy there 
It's not going to be a Kevin Durant, but this could be salvageable in some way, and he could be that hero. That's two good reasons to stay. The reason I love Russell Westbrook so much is that he is an emotional piece. He's a lot, part of a lot. And he's a guy that a couple of years ago when Kevin Durant had the injury issues, who was the guy that went out there every single night seemingly with an endless amount of energy, getting triple doubles night after night after night, almost getting the team single-handedly into the playoffs. If I'm him, I have to look at it and say, yeah, I'm too tough. I can be the guy that you can build your franchise around. Now, maybe it's because I was born and raised in the Midwest. Maybe I was two hours away from Oklahoma City. But it's a great city to play in. Playing in Oklahoma, where you are the show, it is the Sooners 30 miles, 20 miles away, and then it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's it. To me, that's very conducive to wanting to be great. That's why I was shocked when KD decided to leave. And if I'm Russell Westbrook, and I'm looking at all of my options, I don't want to go to L.A. and lose. I don't want to go to L.A. just to say I can play at the Staples Center if I'm going to turn into the last two or three years for Kobe Bryant. Might be good in a couple of years. But I agree with the fact he should be ticked off. And when he gets ticked off and he's angry, boy, does he play great. And that's the kind of guy that I want. I want a guy that comes up every single night and wants to step on your throat.